Okay, so where we last left off was on this video here. Our application runs and we can move it around using the left and the mouse. Uh, I'm sorry, the left and the right uh, arrow keys. And if I were to hit straight, it'll, or the up arrow key, it'll continue straight in the direction in which it was going before. Uh, our goal now is actually to uh, allow this. First, we're gonna well, we're not gonna do this first, but we're gonna make some borders here so it can't go outside the screen. But right now, we want to be able to create some collision detection. So when it hits the box, it either disappears or explodes or something happens. So we want to go ahead and put some collision detection on the um, the flame, the fireball, and on the uh, rectangles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the code behind and I want to be able to put all the rectangles or the targets that I have inside of a, a variable, a list to be exact. So I'm going to go ahead and call that list targets and then I'm going to say as list targets as list and that's going to be a list of rectangles. Okay, so um, the next thing I want to be able to do is now create a, I want to create a procedure that's actually going to constantly check for um, the collision. I'm just going to name that check collision. And the reason why I'm doing this before I even I even uh, declare it at the bottom because once I do this it's going to give me an error and I can automatically make it write it for me so uh, I'm going to say uh, ship it should know what what that is that's ship and targets so it should automatically give me the right parameters when it makes it for me so I'm going to go at the end of this one here I'm not going to go here I'm going to go here uh, actually what did I call this this is not ship hold on uh, it should be fireball not ship so say fireball there we go and I'll go here and I see what it generated at the bottom yep perfect image and list of rectangles now I'm gonna have to add a few more things uh, inside of this procedure obviously in order to get it to work. I want this image actually to be uh, origin. And then I want it to I want this to be a function. I want it to return as boolean in case I need that later. And uh I get an error here because I need a return statement so I'm not really gonna focus on that right now and so I'm gonna say dim collision now I'm gonna write the uh, the detection here actually let me declare this so I'm gonna say if I'm going to close that off just to make sure I have everything closed there. Hit location. Hold up, maybe I didn't write the get location here. So what we're going to do, I wanted to put the location of the item or whatever I'm going to get here. I'm going to write a uh, function called get location and it's going to take in an item and then what it's going to do from there is bring me back the exact location of that item. I thought we did this before but evidently we didn't so uh, I'll go ahead and write that right now. Write that under here just so it will be easier for this if statement to capture the location of the uh, object that we're trying to send in. So I'm going to say um, private function. Let's 
going to return a point. Okay, so what we have here is a function that's going to take in an object, it's going to get the object's left and its right, and it's going to put it in a point and return that to me here. And now I want uh, one called set location, so it'd be easier also. That's going to be a sub because I don't need it to return anything, I just need it to accept. And it's also going to take an object, obj as object. Uh, I also want to take uh, the uh, the the location in which I'm going to set this this object. Yeah. So inside of here, I'm going to say. Uh, pretty much going to say the same thing as this. Except this is going to be set. And then I put here. The left, uh, they're going to make that uh, dot x, and then the right, so this would be top, this would be dot y. Okay, so now I can just use that inside of this uh, check collision here. So we're right back at the if statement inside of the check collision to make it a lot easier for us to get the location. So I'm going to start off by saying, uh, get location and I'm going to enter this right here so I, I need to go through this list of, uh, of rectangles so I can check and see which one it is I want to check all the rectangles in here which are all the enemies all the targets so I'm gonna have to check through that with a, um, a f uh, for each loop so I'm going to start that off by saying um, for each REC, this is just the name I'm giving it for rectangle, and targets. That's my for each. Now for every time there's something in that list, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so Okay, that's the first one, and then I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go one space over. I'm gonna say and, and I'm gonna hit the space, and I'm gonna hit that underscore. I'm gonna continue typing. 
uh, let me just end this if okay so now I'm gonna say pretty much the same thing except I'm gonna switch it around a little bit towards the end so I'm gonna say uh, get location rec X pretty much the same as this and I'm gonna say here is gonna be Okay, so I have get location, rec x, plus rec dot actual width, and that has to be. Let me close that in. That has to be greater than get location origin x. Actually, I don't have to retype it. It's right there, and I get rid of this part. Okay, so that's that part. Now I'm gonna say and again. All of these have to be true. Space underscore. And I'm going to do the same thing with Y. So I can pretty much copy this part. Paste that there. And now say Y. Dot get origin dot Y. Get origin instead of width. You want that to be the height. After that, it's going to be the thin. Close this off. So we're going to switch these two around on here. This should be rec actual height plus get location origin y location not origin but rec. And all that will be greater than get location origin y. Okay, let me recheck this and make sure we got everything right. Oh, get rid of this. Put that there. Alright, so let's check this and make sure everything is right. Get location rec x is less than get location origin x plus origin that actual width and get location rec x plus rec actual width is greater than get location origin x. That part's right. Now let's look at this part get location rec y is less than get location origin y plus origin actual height that's right rec actual height mm -hmm. get location rec y get location origin y that looks right so far and we could take this part off right there uh, and fix some of these Okay, so I gotta get rid of a few of these. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I only want to close in the ones with the plus and the, the subtraction signs. So 
I don't need this one's a negative uh, greater than I can get rid of that one I want that one and that should be it all right so now when all these things are true then basically we have ourselves a collision so I'm gonna test this by saying And because I'm filtering through this loop right here of targets, I can actually go ahead and uh, call one of those rectangles. So whenever, whatever rec that we're dealing with here, if it com becomes true, I can go ahead and spit out the name there. And that should work. And now I already have this already situated up here. And then I can check some other things that we have here make sure everything is right so let's try it out and see what happens okay so we have an error here let's see what are we looking at Okay, so the error is basically saying that we don't have anything inside of here, which is obvious because what we have to do is we have to set up the, um, we have to add them up in the constructor. So I'm going to go ahead and take this targets list after all these components and stuff for set. I'm going to do it right here. So I'm going to say uh, targets. Oops, nope, I didn't try to do that. Let me go back. What do we name this? Targets. Dot add. And we're going to go ahead and call it target A. And we're going to do the same thing with target B. Uh, and the other thing we need to do is make sure that we instantiate this. So we're going to say equals new. Yes. So don't forget that. And then now this should work. So let's, we'll look down here and see if it calls upon when it hits it. Yeah, there it is, collision with target B. And then I'm going to go to the other target. Let me see. There it is, collision with target A. And that's how you can do your collision. You can also do that with the collision on the top and the right and the left of the screen. So the next uh, thing is probably to fix the the left and the right of the screen so you don't go too far off number one and number two we can make something happen with these and the third thing we probably want to do perhaps is if you get a special tool our fireball can shoot fireballs out of it so that would probably be the next thing we do